All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I believe this might be one of our first uh, Puerto Rican pizza reviews. I think we've probably done it in the past, but today we're at Borinquen Pizza and Restaurant for you guys. And yeah, if you guys saw the clips from the inside, uh, don't worry about that. They're currently remodeling at the moment. They have a grand opening, uh, a grand reopening on Mother's Day. So inside is not looking too good right now. But hey, we're not here to review that. We're here to review this fine pizza. I didn't even get a look at it yet, so. This is it right here, personal pizza, very greasy looking. Um, it does look like kind of, it looks a little deeper too than like our usual pizzas. Look at this, look at this. It's a little bit deeper, so, sort of personalized, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, um, kind of like size, but like it looks pretty good so far. It's not really coming apart, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and run, jump. Actually, actually, before we jump into it, I had some reviews that I wanted to show you guys. That's why we keep these videos raw for moments like these, because these are the best moments. And I'm gonna pull up the reviews right now. So our first review, so this place has a 3.8 stars on Google reviews, and some of the reviews are pretty nasty, so let's get into them. So first we have Nancy. Nancy says, I placed a pickup order at 4.44, did not get did not get my three pizzas until 6.20 p.m. The pizza looks horrible, will not be spending any more money on this place. And from that picture, it definitely did not look right. That delivery driver was probably high out of their minds or something. He's Oh, okay, and it's new administration and management apparently. So it looks like they up their you know skills and stuff like that. Next we got Rofredo uh, Gaez. I order pizza. Tastes not good, like Clorox. I never buy again. Well, I, I personally, I, this pizza don't look like Clorox tasted pizza, but hey, we going we gonna be the judge of that. Last review comes from Yanitza. An actual wing from the chicken in my order. All the other wings were full of chicken hair. This was so nasty. So we didn't get any chicken, thank God. But hey, again, like I said, they, they're revamping, doing things differently. So let's just give them a fair shot and let's try out the pizza, bro. Let's stop talking and get this shit in my mouth. One slice, everybody know the damn rules. Mmm. I'm gonna have to take a second, bro. Mmm. It's actually really flavorful. Another one that's kind of surprising me. It's going for the crust. Mmm. So, that's really good. I will say, my bad. I, I ate way too much at once. That was my bad. But I will say the crust is really, really good. Um, you don't really taste the cheese like that. The sauce is what really holds it all together. That sauce that they use is like really, really good. But the cheese, a nice little cheese pull on it. Let, let me go in for one more bite, huh? Very cheesy. Mm. So like, it's very comforting. Honestly, it tastes like, kind of like a little bit of homemade, like Puerto Rican household type of style, like pizza. Really, really good. Um, for what it is, I think I'm gonna give this pizza a nice, strong, solid, like, 7-1. It's really, really good. It definitely surprised me. Again, I was expecting to give this place like a six, but they surprised me. The people inside were very friendly as well, and this genuinely does deserve a 7-1 in my books. Um, you guys be the judge of it for yourself. I know a lot of you guys out here don't really, probably don't even know about this place. I recently found out about it the first time myself, but hey, they make pretty good pizza, probably make pretty good Puerto Rican food, and you guys should check them out for yourselves. I'm out, peace.